In this video we're going to talk about Artist Data. It's the website I recommend that you use to add your shows and tour dates. Now you'll see that it's free to sign up and more than likely you're going to be an artist or someone who wants to manage data for one artist, although they do support being a label or management company that has a roster of many artists. So this is a pretty simple sign up procedure. Just go ahead and fill out that information. I'm going to go ahead and log in. When we first log in, we're going to want to go to the Tools tab. And you'll see here the many features that Artist Data offers. You can connect to your social networks, many concert databases, they have partner sites for mobile. Um, the big thing too is you can do iCalendar feeds and they also provide you with a calendar widget that you can put right on your website or your blog. So the great thing about Artist Data is you submit the show one time and it sends it to all these sites for you, including your calendar, on your website or blog. So let's first go to social networks. So you're going to want to connect your Facebook. Now these top two here are for my personal profile and the status update for pages is how it updates the status on my fan page. So you would actually just activate these and connect them. Now if we go to concert databases, the three concert databases that Root Music syncs with automatically are Bands in Town, Sonic Living, and Song Kick. Let's go ahead and like just take a look at Bands in Town. What they'll do is they'll just have you activate it. Okay, and just follow the instructions when you activate. It's pretty simple. One thing I recommend is that you have a look through all these different sites and see which one has to offer. You never know which ones might pertain to you directly. I'd suggest connecting to as many of them as possible. Once we have Bands in Town activated here, on our Root Music page, on this Tools tab, if we just go down to Sync, you can actually add, you could choose whether Bands in Town, Sonic Living, or Sonic Kick. So I have mine set to sync with Bands in Town. Okay, and then it will sync the shows right into your calendar. Now if we come back to Artist Data, let's go to Shows. Now, it's real simple. All we do is we add new show. Alright, so here this is pretty straightforward. You know, you're obviously going to add the date and time. Those are the most crucial. And it gives you different options here of what type of show it is. Just know that if it's a house concert or something smaller like that, it won't even send it to Bands in Town because Bands in Town is really dealing with more club, casino, area shows, festivals and fairs, bar, pub. You know, it's going to promote for actual venues. So of course you add your show information, all your venue information, and if you have a website link to the concert or event, add that. Of course, phone number if you have that. Definitely make sure you put the correct time zone of your show. If you know the cover cost or the ticket cost, add that here. The age group. And then of course, you can upload a file for your show poster or your flyer and then of course you would publish that when you're done. So once you enter a show they actually give you more information that you can update. Like you can update the time that the doors open and close and here's another great option is with tickets. You can actually include a ticket link. They'll let you link and so people can buy tickets right from your Facebook fan page. Also you can add other artists that you'll be performing with that night at the show venue details, guest list, schedule, there's all kinds of information that you can add once you've submitted the show. On the home tab we can actually see our recent activity. It'll show us that it successfully updated our Facebook and our Twitter as well as the other concert databases it sent the show to. So let's jump over to my Twitter real quick and show what it looks like when a show automatically posts to Twitter. So on my Twitter this is what it looks like. It gives me an artist data link which if we go there it's basically a landing page for the show that gives you all the pertinent information, flyer, Google map, web link, it even has my Twitter feed in here. So very cool functionality if people decide to click on that, but for the most part they're going to be seeing this on your Facebook page. 
So that's Artist Data. I highly recommend you use this website. It's got a ton of features, a bunch of websites they've partnered with. Check them out. It's definitely, in my opinion, the best way to notify people of your upcoming shows, whether it's on Facebook, Twitter, or your website. So the next video, we're going to go in depth on SoundCloud. If you're a DJ, I'm going to give you tips on how to get thousands of plays on your DJ mixes and get them played in countries all around the world. We also will show you the SoundCloud app section and show you how you can integrate your SoundCloud into numerous different sites, as well as just some general SoundCloud networking tips. In order to get the next video, I want you to go to my Facebook page at facebook.com slash Jeremy Espinosa. Go to my player and find the first DJ mix. Go ahead and either like the mix or leave a comment on the mix. Again, message me through either Facebook or through YouTube. Let me know you've done so and I'll go ahead and send you the next video. Thanks again and we'll see you soon.